So I'm working on my newsletter layout. I'm working in InDesign. I've set up my headline, my tagline, and I'm going to um, add some paragraph styles to my columns. My columns are justify left, which means there's no jagged edges on the right hand side of the column where the type is. And um, it's time to use my paragraph styles panel because I want to set some subheaders in here and I don't want to have to do them by hand because well we're going to assume like right now hey we can look at our pages panel yeah this is only one page but moving forward uh, newsletter it's probably going to be more than one so I'm going to set some paragraph styles so I'm going to go to window menu go to styles and paragraph styles and you notice when I open up the panel, there are actually two panels here. I'm just going to pull this apart so you can see this. There's character styles, there's paragraph styles. Character styles are styles that can be applied individually to a character, meaning somewhere if it's, it won't depend on me hitting return, it won't def depend on me defining something as a paragraph. Whatever I said is a paragraph style, I can't apply to, like, you know, if I pick a different color or something, I can't apply that to an individual word. Uh, that has not been designated solely as a paragraph. You'll see what I mean. I'll do a character style first. Character style is use useful for something like um, uh, initial cap or drop cap. So I'm going to click on the little create new style here and just call this again. This isn't necessarily something I would do, but just to show you what it can do. So I'm going to call this um, blue letter. And I'm going to set some different formats for it uh, based on, I don't really have a body text style yet. Um, so no styles yet, but basic character formats. The font family I'm going to choose is the one I've been using, Arial, regular. Um, I'm going to keep it the same size that I've been working, which is 14 point. Um, I'm also going to, instead of regular I'm gonna make it bold so it stands out so now I got to set well because I said blue letter so these letters are gonna be blue character color dark blue I'm just choosing the stuff that's in here I'm not doing anything fancy I'm not setting different percentages uh, I'm not digging through the color wheel that's fine okay and I'm also gonna set a paragraph style Okay, and call it subheader because it's not my headline. It's going to be a subheadline that I'm going to use here interspersed throughout the columns to kind of make things look a little bit more interesting. I have no style to base it on, so I'm going to do the same thing I did before. Choose basic character formats. Instead of 14 point, I'm going to choose 24 leave the font style as bold. I'm going to set the case to all caps and leave everything else the way it is. Well, there are other things I could do. I don't know, style stuff. If I wanted to um, set things with an underline or a paragraph rule uh, in the text color, rule below, one point. Okay, so just so you can see what that does. Okay, so now I've got blue letter and subheader. Wait a second. What color did I make that thing? I wanted to make them red. Color. I didn't define color yet. Character color. Red. Okay. Different. Should also check paragraph rules. Okay, so match the text color. So that means If I hit return, I'm going to put a subheader in here. I'm in my first column. I'm going to hit return. So this is defined now because I hit return. This is defined as a paragraph. So if I click subheader, that's kind of big and scary. Uh, so maybe 24 point. No, 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 no. So I'll go back in, open up my character um, paragraph styles panel, and 
change this from 24 point, maybe 18 point is enough, or even 14 point. If I want to see it while I'm doing it, hey, 18 point looks okay. Okay, so let's leave it that way. So I can always go back in if I want to change the um, physical features of this. I could always go back in later. If I'm happy with it, I can always put more in there, do the same thing, keep going. I'm just doing this you know, with no real... Whoops. I didn't hit return. And it only works if I hit return to define something as a paragraph. Okay, so we also set this character style over here. So you can see what that does. I'm not going to do this, but so you can see what it does. If I select any, one letter anywhere in here and click blue letter, I don't have to hit return. I don't have to define something as a paragraph. Not that I would do that. So that is what paragraph styles does. Uh, if I want to set other go back in there if I want to set other parameters for this like um, indents and spacing um, I usually don't indent paragraphs unless I'm asked to but if I want to do space after each paragraph every time I have somewhere that I have a paragraph a space after will add space in here space before we'll put the space in before each paragraph 